A new crop of freshmen have arrived at Yost Arena. Five total. They bring speed and skill to the Wolverines lineup. Really excited about the group. Uh, they bring a little everything to the team. We obviously want to come in, contribute and practice every day and work to get our teammates better as well as get ourselves better. And uh, we want to obviously get playing time and do as much as we can to help Michigan win hockey games. We're always together, so we're always trying to work off each other and helping each other every day. And I think we're just, we're just striving to win. The breakdown is three forwards, Ciccolini, Johnny Beecher, and Nick Granowitz, and two defensemen, Pearson and Cam York. One thing you find out is, is they've all been stars or, or the best players on their teams when they get here. And now you come here and you're competing uh, with some older guys, uh, some stronger guys, some faster guys, and you have to find your way. Expectations at a program like Michigan are not to be avoided. You need your freshmen. I think, you know, we're a sport that, uh, you know, you're going to lose guys. You're going to lose guys early, and, and we don't know when. Uh, but we need those freshmen to come in and play right away. Uh, very rarely do you see a, a freshman redshirted uh, in hockey. Uh, so most guys come in and, and make an impact. For me, the expectation is to win. You know, I mean, we're, we're all at Michigan for a reason. You know, I mean, we all have our special skill sets and, and what we bring to the team. So, I mean, I think we're all extremely excited, especially for this year. I mean, everybody's kind of looking around the locker room, and, and we know that we can do something special. So, I mean, obviously Michigan's rich history. I mean, they're, they're known for winning. So, I mean, we want to keep that tradition going. Is it a thing where you you find your place or you make your place? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. You definitely want to come in and make your place, I think, for the most part, though, because you want to come in, you know what kind of player you are, so you want to come in and establish that right away and kind of make your place on the team, but you also got to find it, too, because there's guys who are obviously in different roles, and you got to work your way into the team and see where you best fit to help have the team success. Yes, they've been playing hockey their whole lives, but this is a new phase, a new level. The adjustment is real. It's a big one, and it's slightly different for everyone. The biggest adjustment's probably been getting back to school. I did juniors the last two years, so I didn't have many classes. So just getting back in the flow of doing homework, managing my schoolwork with the ice time and workouts. I think just managing my time is the biggest adjustment. What's the toughest thing about living away from home? Well, the meals are different, obviously. So I'm not used to, I'm used to having pasta or my mom making food all the time so just adjusting to the meals and it's been pretty good so far. Coach Pearson says he likes the way the veterans have helped show the way. His staff is likewise setting them up for success. One thing we can do for them is, is to put them in a role uh, that they can have some early success and then get off to a good start. And I think that's, that's the main thing we try and do as coaches is to you know, make sure we give them the opportunity to, to have a good start. For MGO Blue TV, I'm Ed Kingerski.